Well, hello guys, Dave here for the Black Hat Brothers, and I actually have a black hat on for this episode of Dave's video game musicality, and it's quite, quite amazing. I don't know. I probably will wear it for every episode ongoing now, because, you know, before I did not even wear a black hat in these episodes, and I was just like, we're the Black Hat Brothers, and, um, there was no black hats? No, I just found one. So, yeah, I will wear a black hat now. For uh, remaining episodes of anything ever, so on this channel, not not on my main channel because that'd just be weird. So first of all, I'm just going to talk about the game Animal Crossing, Animal Crossing series in general, and there are four games in the Animal Crossing series. First of all, there's one for the GameCube called Animal Crossing Population Growing, but people usually call it the original Animal Crossing because it was the, it was the first one that came out. Um, besides the one for N64 that only came out in Japan, but we're not going to count that one because I've never played it before, so, yes. And then there is there was one for the DS called Animal Crossing Wild World, and it was really good. I really liked it for the DS, and it kind of uh, yeah, brought Animal Crossing to the handheld systems of Nintendo, so pretty awesome. Uh, then there is uh, Animal Crossing City Folk for the Wii, and um, that one was pretty good. I played it a little bit, little bit not too much, though. Uh, I only had it for a certain amount of time, and, you know, it, it was it's kind of, it's actually the least... Uh, played one out of the series that I've ever played so yeah and then there's one for the 3DS that I'm playing right now on my main channel um, I'm LPing on my main channel uh, it's called Animal Crossing New Leaf and it's really good it's probably the best it's you no know, it is the best one so far I mean in terms of in terms of what's in the game and the options in the game it's the best one so far but um, I always take myself back to the roots of Animal Crossing the original Animal Crossing for the GameCube and the soundtrack for the GameCube version and if you guys have any time um, on your hands, uh, you can look up Animal Crossing soundtrack. You know, a lot of things come up. Uh, all four, all four games come up, and um, the one I usually search up is the Animal Crossing GameCube soundtrack because that one is really good. Um, if you don't know what Animal Crossing is, it's kind of like this life simulator game. Uh, it's one of those life simulation games. You know, Harvest Moon, The Sims. You know, Animal Crossing. You know, those kinds of games where it simulates your life and you have to live by life. It was also the first game for the GameCube that like simulated time. It used the in it used the in system clock, the eternal clock in the system for the game. And it when it was three o'clock in real life, it was three o'clock on the game. And it kind of you know it, it was the first ever game to actually use it use the in, in, internal clock. And um, I'm kind of getting off base here with the soundtrack, but the soundtrack is really good. Each hour, why, why am I bringing up the clock? Well, each hour, um, there's a different song that plays um, through the overworld, which is, you know, the life you live. Like, outside, outside of any house, there is a song that plays every hour. It's different every hour in uh, the original Animal Crossing, and each song has its own type of feel and style. It's Each each song has is very different from the other songs, and each song has its own subtleties and differences in it. You know, each song, each song is really good. If you guys have any time, like I said earlier, search up Animal Crossing GameCube a soundtrack. It, it's really good. Um, the soundtrack is really great for the GameCube version. Now, now heading on to Animal Crossing Wild World for the DS. Each song, it, it, as the hours go by, there is a different song for each hour. But, you know, each hour has its own song. Not like in the GameCube version where it's randomized. And, um, you know, it, the songs are randomized. So... 10 o'clock p.m. song one day would, wouldn't would be a 10 o'clock p.m. song another day. As in Animal Crossing Wild World, 10 o'clock song is the 10 o'clock song. It will stay that way throughout the game no matter what year uh, or what day it is. Unless it's a holiday in which a special theme plays all day long in a holiday. That, that pattern stuck along through the Animal Crossings for the Wii and the 3DS as well as the DS one which it started on. So, you know... All four games soundtracks are really good, and I mentioned this on a blog on the Black Hat Brothers Tumblr um, quite a while ago. That the that the the soundtracks for all four games are really good, and if you guys can check them out, uh, that would be awesome. Uh, they they are all, they are all really good in in their own ways. They use different styles as well as pop, jazz, rock, and you know they they use different styles and it's really it's really interesting how they use different styles for each hour and you know and you know a different uh, another awesome thing about the game is when it's daytime there's a more upbeat feel 
no matter what style it is during the day it's up it's upbeat during the night it's kind of like a ballad slow type feel so pretty cool pretty awesome so check it out if you can so thank you guys for watching Animal Crossing is awesome I'm also doing an LP of it just you know advertising my main channel I'm doing a uh, LP of Animal Crossing New Leaf on my main channel if you want to go check that out uh, that's awesome so thank you guys for watching if you guys also like the video leave a like down below and if you have not subscribed to the Black Hat Brothers yet please do on YouTube and follow on Twitter and Facebook thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time Dave out